the barrage of full electric vehicles is only just beginning and I couldn't be more excited. I love this progression of the automobile and how it's transforming the driving experience. And let me tell you, this EQS is as transformative as they come. As of today, Mercedes sells one EV and this is it. The EQS sedan with a starting MSRP of $103,360. This begins their top-down approach to fleshing out their electric offerings, soon to be joined by an SUV of the same name, an E-Class-like midsize sedan called the EQE, and a more attainable compact SUV called the EQB, along with a couple of racy AMG variants. The goal is to make every newly developed Mercedes electric only starting in 2025, while at the same time having an EV alternative for every model the company makes. If it has an EQ in front of it, it's electric. The EQS is sized similarly to the flagship S-Class sedan, but it's built upon its own all-electric architecture. And there's way more cargo volume here. Why? Because this is a hatch. So the EQS has 63 cubic feet with the seats folded. That's five times as large as the luggage space of the S-Class. The hood doesn't open, so there's no frunk, and because of that, check out the unusual location of the windshield washer fluid reservoir. But you're not watching to compare capacities. You're here for this. The curved 56-inch wide hyperscreen. Or this, the ambient light show with a seemingly limitless number of changeable colors incorporated into every nook and cranny. Or perhaps it's this, the thrust you into your seat acceleration that's provided by dual electric motors, generating a combined 516 horsepower and 631 pound-feet of torque on demand, capable of a 0 to 60 time of only 4.1 seconds. With an electric powertrain at both the rear and front axles, this torque vectoring all-wheel drive system reacts more quickly than a mechanical version ever could. Plus, there's rear axle steering that further enhances the EQS's nimbleness, especially in tight quarters where this car's sizable length simply melts away. This here is the 580 4Matic, the range-topping EQS in the highest pinnacle trim with a starting MSRP of near $127,000. And when option like this, with matte finish paint, the AMG line interior package with sport seats, the executive rear seat package plus with a control tablet and massage windows that are laminated with an acoustic membrane to make the cabin more hushed a huge colorful head-up display a hepa air filtration system that can remove 99 percent of particulate pollution and rear seat belts with integrated airbags a la ford the price climbs to 142,200 dollars or about 10 grand more than a comparable s580 but the EQS is way cooler, faster, and only costs about $700 a year to fuel as opposed to $4,250 for the S-Class. And with two years of free fast charging at Electrify America stations, you can ostensibly reduce the fuel cost to zero, at least for a couple of years. I have a large bank of EA fast chargers near my house, and charging the EQS is very fast. It takes about 30 minutes, and it's super easy. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? I need directions to the nearest charging station. Here is what I found. Where do you want to go? No apps to open or card to scan. Just plug in, and the juice starts flowing. When fully charged, the 580 is rated at 340 miles of driving range, which is huge. But that number will fluctuate in both directions, depending mostly upon the air temperature. Now to learn more about charging an EV and some of its pitfalls, click on the link up above to my recent Volvo C40 recharge review. With this kind of range, I haven't even bothered to plug into my garage outlet overnight, which is good because Mercedes doesn't include a 120 volt charge cable with purchase, but they'll sell you one for $250. At $142,000 as tested, the EQS obviously lives at the upper crust of the EV world. And I have to admit that even for me, someone who lives and breathes this stuff every day, this torrent of technology in here has been a bit challenging. I mean, there is a lot going on in here and there's seemingly nothing the EQS can't do for you. 
Now we have seen some of these cool features before, but the difference in here is, is that they're evolved, they're smarter, and they're just downright better. Now, whether it's the amazing around view camera, the mind blowing ambient lighting, or the level of control given to each and every occupant, this EQX is just next level incredible. It is the S class of the Mercedes electric lineup after all, so it has to meet some very demanding standards. And it not only meets them, it exceeds them. Not every EQS gets the hyper screen. The base rear drive single motor 450 plus goes without. So if this appeals to you, and why would it not, you've got to go all the way. It's as much an aesthetic spectacle as it is electronically advanced. The conduit to just about everything the EQS can do, and that's an impressive list. You can simply say, hey Mercedes, and speak to the car. Improved upon this year in the EQS, which can also learn and recognize individual voices and give the same control to rear seat passengers. You can also use the fingerprint scanner to access your personalized setup. But even just using the touchscreen is actually pretty intuitive. It's just that there's so many options and features that you can get lost in a rabbit hole of information. And the passenger can have access to all of this awesomeness right in front of them with their own screen, much like the convenience of having a dual monitor set up at your office desk. There's also a rather amazing 15-speaker Burmester surround sound system with a personalization wizard, preset soundscapes, and vehicle noise compensation. And many of the most popular music streaming apps are preloaded on the screen, though not my beloved Napster. But that's where wireless CarPlay leaps into action. With the executive rear seat package, you get full power massaging seats back here with ventilation and rapid heating, as well as neck level heating and these comfy little pillows on the headrests. Now you control a lot of this down here on this tablet located on the center armrest. And this tablet can also be used outside of the vehicle. Pretty neat. And then look what's inside of here, a wireless charge pad for your phone. It's a first class experience all the way. But I'm disappointed that this car isn't equipped with the energizing comfort with energizing nature feature that coordinates climate control, lighting, sound, fragrance, and massage to recreate various nature settings. It's only $200, so why not? But I find this to be a bit disturbing. Through over-the-air updates, Mercedes wants to sell you stuff with this car. Special driving programs, games, even driving sounds. Now, I think we've already reached subscription overload, and now it's coming to your car. Yikes. The quietness, the agility of electric formatic and rear wheel steering, the breathtaking acceleration. I mean, this really is an amazing driving experience. And there's 340 miles of driving range here with a smart approach to charging that takes that sometimes complicated matter and makes it that much easier. Over here on the steering wheel, you have paddle shifters, so you can choose just the right level of brake energy recuperation that's comfortable for you, all the way down to one pedal drive that rarely requires you to use the actual brake pedal. This car is sporty yet eco-minded. It's fast yet comfortable. It's really the best of all worlds rolled into one. But tell me this, how is it that Mercedes still does not have a true hands-free driving experience akin to Cadillac Super Cruise? There is a bevy of driver assistance and parking features, including excellent camera views, but if you're not doing hands-free, frankly, it's old news. With the air suspension, even these max performance 21-inch summer run flats can't ding the luxurious ride quality. These good years have also been engineered with low rolling resistance and sound comfort technology. And with various drive modes, the EQS can be every car from comfort cruiser to spirited mobility, all performed in relative quiet with the exception of some futuristic electric sounds. It's a heavy car at over 5,800 pounds, but you'd never know it. I am all in on electric. I've leased one now for over a year and love it. And this car, though not as stately or attractive as the S-Class it mimics, is an amazing start to Mercedes' future. For TestDriveNow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.